Well, hey y'all, it's Brian SLC Farms. Well, today we're out at the hay field that got rained on. We're out here uh, gonna get it bailed up. We tetted this again yesterday. To be honest, the hay does not look bad at all. It, uh, it's got a little discoloration, but honestly, it, it actually still looks really good. Um, we'll see how, see how it looks in a roll. But I think uh, I think it's still gonna make some fine feed, at least for our cows. I don't think it's lost any nutrition or anything. Um, so, gotta get the rake hooked up. Country gal brought the baler over this morning. She's out across in the other field, tedding what I mowed yesterday. And uh, I'm gonna get her over here, get the tedder dropped, get the baler hooked up, get the rake hooked up. We'll see y'all once we get going. All right, y'all. We're rolling in over here where Country Gal's at. She's been tedding away this morning. She, uh, she got a pretty good chunk done. She's on down there. We're gonna slip up on her, drop her tether, get her over and hook to the baler. Hey, looks like it's drying down good though. Stuff might be ready to bail here in a day or so. Well, she actually had the big field all done. She's on her way up with the tether now. Here she comes up through here. I told her just to, I was going to just unhook her where she was at, but since she's done with that big field, I told her just to come on up here and we'll unhook, unhook up here in the little equipment lot we got. All right, y'all, we got her hooked up to the claw. She's taking off. I had done kind of raked, uh, raked one windrow before I went and got her. Just do that out around. But she's off. All right, y'all, we are rocking on. Country gals bailing. I'm a raking. She has done dropped one bale. I made these bales a little bit bigger and I uh, tightened them up just even a little bit more. Since this will be feed. out and take a look at her first bell here in just a second make sure it looks good Let's hop out and take a look. I can't get my, I'm pushing as hard as I can. Nice and tight. Pretty pleased with that. That'll work. A nice windrow there on the rake. Get raking. All right, let's roll. Gotta make sure not to flip myself over. I'm not a big fan of loaders in the air while uh, while you're moving. Very dangerous. Not a loaders up kind of guy. In fact, 
I sometimes laugh at the ignorance when people ride with their loader up, thinking they have better visibility. You don't. And all you gotta do is hit one soft spot or go for hole or something that you didn't know was there that created the next thing you know you're on your lid you're all on your side at least but for filming purposes we got to take dangers and risks we need the good shots shots well we got about 34 acres to get bailed it is uh i think it's about two o'clock 222 so i'm gonna say we started at 215 we'll see how long it takes us to get it bailed i'm betting uh i'm betting it'll be seven o'clock before we're done I guess it depends on how quick she can roll along. We shall see. Once I get her some nice straight rows here, I think we'll be golden. It looks like to me she's be bopping right along. jobs oh no still too close I'm trying to break my rake there we go they don't look too bad dusty coming off the baler that's a good sign I got done tedding last night. They were calling for zero rain, is what they said. And, uh, oh, she's making a bail. Y'all can't see it. Oh, well. You got your radio on? Okay. I need the iPad when I do a live stream. I was going to do that when we get to the big field. I know y'all just heard. Hopefully you've already viewed it. Uh-oh. Something's wrong. All right. She didn't stop because there was a problem. She stopped because... All right, she didn't stop because there was a problem. She stopped because she lost a reach that I set up on the baler or a pair of pliers. I had set up on the baler and to hand me my iPad because if things go right I'm going to do a live stream when we get to the big field. We'll see what happens there. But we're going to hammer down. I'm going to throw some music on. Let y'all watch us rake and bail.
that down. Adjust my mirrors out a little bit. See my rank better. say once I get ahead of her a little bit it's not too bad but I'm running seven miles an hour I feel like she's up my butt
slow And out of your door I'll go Now tell me, baby What you think of me Well now tell me, baby me no rest since I've been in Nashville, Tennessee.
Well, she didn't get far. She only got about uh, 24 rolls made. Got a net wrap. So, let's change some net wrap real quick. Let's see, do we want green or blue? Hmm. Let's try the green. Alright, I ain't got my microphone in, but get this net out. Go in here. Perfect. Trying out some different kinds of net wrap this year. This is a Harvest Master. We've also got a Tama. We just got done with a John Deere roll. So far, I still like my Swansons. Tried this one before? Nope, we've never. This came from uh, Nelson up at the Rebound. Got a little bit of fray in here on the end. I hope that doesn't mess with too much. Climbing in. She don't like it when I put the camera on. She's gonna fire it up. We're gonna make sure it wraps. tractor. I had a bucket on there. Forgot to put the spear on it. Alright. We're back to rolling. We're on the big field. We're just making the first round. There hey y'all. We're still bebopping along out here. I just got done with a little live stream and then my phone overheated on me and canceled my live. I hadn't done one of those in a long time. And I've already gone through two camera batteries today. Got one of them left. This one's getting pretty low. But we are, we're be bopping right along, knocking it out. Sorry, I gotta turn. Country 
gals rolling them up. Show y'all across through there. So I'm making these bales a little bit bigger and a little bit tighter than my, what I've been making all year. Like I said, just because it's my feed. And uh, I don't mind giving away hay to myself. Next around, I'll have to put out as many as often. Hopefully, that's the plan anyways. But just checking in with y'all. We'll be back when we get done. Kind of get a final bell count on what this uh, 34 acres made. On that front, uh, seven and a half, eight acres. It made 19 rolls. So I'm pleased with that. If we can get three bells to the acre with the size I'm making them, that's pretty good tonnage, especially out and got a couple little rings on it. But we'll see y'all in a little bit. All right, y'all. I got everything raked. Country gal, she's not far behind me bailing. She's got uh, two little half windrows left in this field. She's back behind the cabin right now getting that. But we got her all bailed up. Bales are looking real good. I'm I'm actually real pleased. I think it's still gonna make good feed. I'm gonna go ahead and take a couple rolls home with me in the dually. Feed one of the cows and one of the horses today. See how they like it. They both need hay this evening anyways. So we started, uh, I think what I say, about 2.15 today. And it uh, is just now five o'clock. I don't have my phone on me to check. But I'm betting we'll be done by about 5.15. So about three hours to bail this 34, 34 and a half acres. Three hours and 15 minutes, like I said, she's got this. She's back on the other side of that little tree line right there right now. And then on the other side of that tree line right beyond the Kubota, there's another three or four little windrows over there. But that's going to do it on this one. When she does stop, I'll get a bail count, and I'll come back with that. But I appreciate y'all watching. Y'all leave me a thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments below. We'll see you on the next one.